remind me once again because I am old. I know that it's only the 19th day of school. I greet you. I say good morning. Khalil, you say? Hola. Khalil, you sound strange today. <laughs> Khalil, what do we say? Hola. Thank you. Good morning. Hola. Please stand on three. Remember that your hands are outside of your pockets. You're not leaning on furniture. Nothing is in your hand. And you're speaking with a clear and audible voice. Clearer than mine, I have a cold, so you want to make sure that you speak up. Otherwise, I might not hear you because my ears are clogged. One, two, three. All right, let's get started with our pepper routine. I've added a couple more questions because we're getting very good at answering all of these questions. So let's see if we can do 15 questions today. Number one, 25 times three. This one's easy, everyone knows it. 25 times three is? 75. Indeed, good, thank you very much. Number two, two and five tenths times three. You know what 25 times three is and two and five tenths times three? Not that big a deal, right, Everson? Yes. So, oh, so seven, seven and five tenths. Indeed, seven and five tenths, you agree with him? That's okay. Let me hear it. PR is American because you're leaning on furniture and you've got a pencil in your hand. Not cool. 25 hundredths times three. Mr. Bisono, turn the track, please. Oh, so 75 hundredths times three equals 25 hundredths times three equals 75. Indeed, you were already thinking of the answer. That's why you said 75 hundredths. Good man. Number four, 250 times three. No decimal visible, but it's there, and you can still multiply because you know powers of 10. Go ahead, Matty. 750. Cool. Number five. What about this one? A little harder. 75 hundredths times four. Perhaps if you're thinking about dinero, you can money. Maybe you can figure this out. 75 hundredths times four. You know what 75 cents times 2 would be? This would be easy. Um, those of you with your hands up, is my answer going to be greater than or less than 5? Less than! It's going to be greater than or less than 2? Greater than! What's my product? Manny? Your product is three. My product is three. Good. Number six, let's move on. Eight times one is equal to eight is an example of what property in math? Yeah, some hands are good. Talk to Skyla. The identity property. Why is it the identity property? Khalil. Because the identity of eight never changes. The identity of eight doesn't change. Good. Number seven. What about this property? Nine plus zero is equal to nine. Brian. Also the identity property, but this time we're talking about the very precise language he used, the identity property of addition, not multiplication. What about this? Three times four is equal to four times three. Mr. Williams, turn and track, please. Three times four equals four times three is the property of multiplication. Here's why I asked for hands out of pockets, because I can hear your money and then I want it. And you can ask Jalen in the other class. I actually took his for the duration of the day because it was a distraction. So don't be that guy. Number nine, two plus three plus four. Notice that there are parentheses here. Those are grouping symbols. And whenever you're grouped with somebody, we're talking about you're associated with that person or with that group of people. The parentheses here, they show that these two numbers are associated with each other. What property do you think this example shows me? We haven't talked about this property, but if you've been paying attention to the words that I've been using, perhaps you know what I'm talking about. Who have I not heard from yet? Vinta, turn to track, please. Um, this is not associated with property. Indeed, can you be more specific? This is not associated with property because um, the parentheses it is the 
the associative property of addition, and she's talking about the order of the numbers doesn't change, but the way that they're grouped does. We're moving on. What about this property? We did talk about this yesterday. Notice 7 is on the outside of the parentheses, and it's being distributed into each of the terms on the inside of the parentheses. What property is this? One, two people remember how sad I am inside, how much I want to cry because you have forgotten about the party. Two and nine are having. Seven is going inside and shaking hands with two. Seven is going inside and shaking hands with nine. We can say that seven is being distributed to each of the terms on the inside, and now I've given it away. This now is becoming a right there question. Uh-oh, that means I want 100%. Uh-oh, that means I'm calling on you, Felicity, because you ought to know what this is now that I've said. What property do you think this is? Those of you who know, help her out. It is called the distributive property. It is called the distributive property of multiplication over addition because when you distribute that 7, you're distributing it through multiplication. You're going 7 times 2. Here's the addition sign. You're going over the addition and going 7 times 9 as well. Let's move on. Hand it to our sides if you don't want to distract people. Let's be seated. Please, we're going to talk about these integers. On three. One, two, three. It's Mary. Go on. Good. Expectations are clear. You're not leaning. Your hand is to your side. You're not holding on to things. I can't get clearer than that. Number 11, 12. Let's just deal with those two. A gain of 15 yards and a loss of 3 yards. Turn and talk. 10 seconds. All right. Five, four, three, two. Ring it, ring it. Ah. Right. Would be the same as a gain of 15 yards. Plus 15. Or how else could I say plus 15? Tiago? Positive 15. What about a loss of three yards? Good more hands. A loss of three yards would be what, Maddie? Negative three. Yesterday we talked about this in our homework, the absolute value of 20. For those of you who have forgotten or you did not know, the absolute value is the number's distance away from zero. Distance is always positive. Like I wouldn't say I'd be standing negative five feet from you, Cheyenne. That distance is always going to be a positive number. So the distance from 20, that 20 has from zero, the absolute value of 20, would be what? What's the distance away from zero that 20 has? No? 20. What's the distance away from zero that negative 8 has? What's the absolute value of negative 8? I'm going to take a risk here and snap, and you're going to say, 8. eight. Good. Number 15. Last one, this one you're going to talk about, and then I'm going to give you some markers, and you're going to write down the answer to this number, or this question. And to, hold on. It says, use the following digits to create the largest four-digit number with the eight in the tenths place. So you have four digits, one, eight, nine, and four. Rearrange them so that you can create the largest number with the eight in the tenths place. You're going to turn and talk about this. You're going to write down your number using your marker. And then we're going to get into our problem of the day. Have this conversation.